Hi Jane, and uh, this month has been a cloudy month, uh, but uh, just like yesterday, although it is cloudy for most of us again today, there are some breaks in the cloud, for example, in Hathersage in the Derbyshire Peak District. Hello, good afternoon. It was a rather grey, but a mild start to the day once more. We've since seen some brighter stars, some sunshine start to emerge. This is Wanstead as pictured by one of our weather watchers, and it will be this mixture of cloud and some brighter spells as we head through the rest of the day. Hello there and a very good evening to everyone at home. Well, as we head through the weekend, we are going to get quite a lot of rain around. Now, through tomorrow, there's going to be outbreaks of rain, the potential as well for some thunderstorms, and there is a Met Office yellow warning out for this. Through Sunday, though, it will start to dry up, although still some showers around, and then a very quick change in the weather as we head through Monday. It's going to be a little bit warmer next week but it's also going to be dry and more settled, perhaps though at times with a little bit of cloud around. Then we have another very weak weather front working its way in through Sunday. So during Sunday, you can expect to see sunny spells, but a scattering of showers around as well. As we head into Monday though, the weather is going to settle down. Temperatures are going to come up highs of around 23 degrees Celsius and staying fine and settled through the middle of the week. Bye-bye. Hi Clive, it's been another cloudy day for most of us, but just like yesterday, there have been a few tears in the cloud sheets that allowed a bit of sunshine to come through. Uh, sunny spells there in Inverness earlier. A big change in the weather pattern though into next week as this high pressure starts to develop. We get our winds coming in from Scandinavia, so no heat wave on the way. The hot air stays further south around the Mediterranean and southern Europe. But nevertheless, next week, a lot of dry weather, a lot of sunshine and temperatures coming back into the low 20s. And in that August sunshine, that will feel quite nicely warm. Clive. And this is a risky economical venture, but one that this couple knew they just had to do. Guy Lynn, BBC London. OK, let's get the weather forecast now. And Chris, on my way into work today, I saw something very unusual in the sky. So I took a picture of it. I think you meteorologists call it the sun. It looks a bit like that thing behind you. Yeah, and, and actually, Assad, this is in many ways what you could have won. Let me explain more. This month, as you might have uh, suspected, has been rubbish in terms of the amount of sunshine we should have seen. Now, for the whole of the month of August, Heathrow should get about 188 hours of sunshine. OK, we're two thirds of the way through August. That equates to about 120 hours we should have had. What we had? 64 hours. It's been rubbish, really cloudy. And of course, today we've continued that kind of uh, cloudy theme as well. Uh, this is Actually, a picture from earlier in the day in uh, Richmond-upon-Thames, Greater London. OK, there were a few cloud breaks every now and then, a little bit of sunshine, but overall, a lot of cloud again. Hello again. Hope you're all having a lovely Friday so far. Well, the good news is next week we should see something a little bit more summery across the UK. For many, plenty of dry and bright weather in the forecast. But in the short term, well, we've still got this weekend to deal with. And it is going to be mixed out there. There will be heavy showers at times or longer spells of rain. Although if you do get a bit of sunshine, it's going to be feeling rather warm.